the flea market the other day. I found this tool and at first glance, I thought, is it really gonna be worth messing with? But I noticed that these threads seem to be in good shape and that the shaft was straight. And I thought we can always turn a new handle and replace it. So join me as we take this and make it a piece of art. This looks like it's brass, just like the other one was. Let's see. Wow, that one's awfully tight. We might need to shoot that up with some. Do not want to tear up that brass. can't get our auger here into this bath. I'm not sure if it's even going to fit. Oh man, almost there. Good. All right, put that there and let's go get some vinegar. saturate this thing with vinegar and let it soak. Found a bolt that this little brass end will fit on. Let's see if we can't get it cleaned up. This handle is a grand mess, but it will be fun to turn on the lathe and get us a new one. You may remember the one inch auger that I redid. This handle I didn't need to return. All I needed to do was sand it up, but I think I'm going to work on using the same profile, make it look the same. It's just, it's gonna be considerably larger here where it needs to be so that it gets plenty of purchase on the shaft to be able to crank it. So basically this profile, just a little bit thicker, particularly here in the middle, the ends, I don't know that they need to be a whole lot bigger, but we'll probably try to make it proportionate. Sometimes I think it's fun just to take an old piece of firewood and turn it into something that's useful. So let's take this piece of firewood and cut it to make a handle out of.
Some of you may be wondering what this is. This is an orbital sander. It spins, plus the rotation of the wood on the lathe help to give multiple directions of sanding, so it helps to smooth it out. And you can see the lines here from the aggressive sanding belt that I used, which was this one. Well, this here will not produce any of that. It's a high grit sandpaper, plus it spins, and the rotation of this cause multiple directions of sanding, so it comes out really nice and smooth. I recognize that not everybody is gonna have this tool to use, but I really want this thing to come out tight so I'm going to go ahead and use it since I have access to it. It's a mortising jig and it should give us a good straight square hole. So these threads were really rusty, and even some of them were completely gone. So I've ground down and tapered it, but I'm getting trying to keep the same threads that will work with that brass nut. So let's give this a test fit. Sure enough, that going to work great. All right, we're ready to give this thing a dunk in our linseed bath. Treat this up so that it will work well for us. There we go. We'll let that sit for a little while. We'll come back later and let it drain. All right, that's soaked for a little while. Let's hook this up and let it drain. at here is that that's straight and then the space down at the bottom there I think I want to take off just a little bit on the right hand side and straighten that a little so we'll mark that and we'll file it so that we can get it straight so I'm going to take and mark with my marker on this side over here so I know which one to sharpen. Take this out. We'll sharpen that side and square it up. We should be in good shape. So it's this side right here. nut on there. I 
And there we go. We've got a good, usable, functional auger. And we're through. That's all. So here we go with the finished product. If you'll remember, it went from this to this right here. And if you'll also remember, we had a handle that looked just like this one. And this handle came from a piece of firewood.